Hey guys, and happy Wednesday. Welcome to our math lesson. Um, for today's lesson, you're going to need a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker, or a piece of paper and a pencil, or if you would prefer, it's a beautiful day outside. If you're able to and allowed to, you're welcome to do this lesson outside in the driveway with some sidewalk chalk and your driveway as your medium. Um, or any other way that you prefer. Maybe you want to get some paint out and some paper, as long as you're allowed to by your parents um, or whoever is keeping an eye on you today. Um, but any way that you would like, we're going to be drawing some shapes and we're going to be practicing with some shapes. Um, so just make sure that you have something that you can write with and write on, whatever that may look like. So I'm going to grab my um, whiteboard. Move all my stuff carefully off my kitchen table. Um, and we'll go ahead and get started. So yesterday we talked about identifying shapes and we used a big word that started with a P. Can you remember what that word was? The word was polygon, polygon. And we talked about a few different types of polygons. Um, now the first shape that we talked about was a circle. My question to you is, is a circle a polygon? Yes or no? Is a circle a polygon? The answer is no. A circle is not a polygon. A circle is just a shape because a circle has no sides. A polygon has to have at least three sides. So the first polygon that we talked about yesterday was a triangle. Okay, a triangle. And the triangle, remember that beginning of the word or that prefix is tri, and tri means three. What's something that you ride around on or when you were younger you rode around on that started with the word tri? A tricycle. Mm -hmm. And how many wheels does a tricycle have? Three. So tri means three. So we start with a triangle. After the triangle, we moved to a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral. And there were lots of types of quadrilaterals we talked about. We talked about squares, it's a quadrilateral. Okay, we talked about rectangles, or quadrilaterals. Trapezoids are quadrilaterals. And we talked about a rhombus, which is a quad quadrilateral. <laughs> I'm saying it over and over again, I'm starting to trip myself up. So these are the quadrilaterals that we talked about. Take a look at these four. What do they all have in common? What do they all have alike? So each of these have four sides. That's what quad means. When we look at the prefix of the word quadrilateral, quad means four, okay? So quadrilaterals have four sides. That's why all of these are grouped together, okay? All right, after the quadrilateral, we talked about a pentagon, pentagon. I'm gonna put my drawing skills to the test. There we go. So we've got our pentagon, and pentagon starts with the prefix pent, and pent means five, because let's count the sides together. One, two, three, four, five. There are five sides in a pentagon, okay? The next one we talked about, it's gonna be even more challenging for me to draw. <laughs> there we go. This one is a hexagon. The prefix to the word hexagon is hex, and hex means six. One, two, three, four, five, six sides in a hexagon. We did mention a heptagon. We don't need to learn that one, but a heptagon with the prefix hept means seven sides. We don't need to know that one though, but we are gonna talk about an octagon, an octagon. Okay, this one is much more challenging for me to draw. I'm really working on my art skills. All right, so there is my version of an octagon. Okay, and the prefix stands for eight, okay? Think of an animal that has octa in it. An octopus, how many legs does an octopus have? Eight, so that's a way to remember that. So today we're gonna do another little review just to make sure that you are familiar with these shapes before we start getting into the more challenging things. 
Um, so for this activity, make sure that you have something to write on and something to write with. We're gonna get started identifying shapes. Okay, it's gonna be kind of like a little quiz. All right, here we go. Okay, so for the first one, first of all, we need to determine the number of sides for this shape and then the name of this shape. So first of all, please go ahead and write on your paper the number of sides and then the name of the shape. Over here on our clipboard, we have a couple we can choose from, so you are welcome to use those. Those are your answer choices, okay? I'll let you take a moment to figure it out, and then we will talk. Okay, so counting together, I'm gonna to go ahead and count the sides. We have one, two, three, four, five sides. So when we have five sides, we're looking at the prefix. So let's look at the words on our um, clipboard. Triangle, triangle. Does a triangle have five sides? No, a triangle has three sides. Tri means three. Pentagon. Does a pentagon have five sides? Yes, that would be our correct answer. A pentagon has five sides. Penta means five, okay? Hexagon would be six sides, and quadrilateral, we always remember, is four sides. So this shape is a pentagon with five sides. Let's try another one. This one you're a little bit more familiar with. Go ahead and count the number of sides and then write the name of the shape down. Okay, the number of sides is one, two, three. And then the name of the shape, as we all know, is the triangle because it's triangle means it has three angles, also meaning it has three sides. Okay, the next one you're also familiar with. Count those sides for me and then name that shape. Okay, let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. There are four sides, and when we have a four-sided figure, we have a quadrilateral. Quad is the prefix of that word, and quad means four. So a quadrilateral, quadrilateral. Now, what is this quadrilateral? It is a square, so this one specifically is a square. Okay, the next one. Go ahead and count those sides and name that shape. Okay, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six sides. So I know it's not a triangle. It's not a pentagon. This one is a hexagon. Hex means six. Hex, six. Okay, so this is a hexagon. Okay, go ahead and count those sides and name that shape. Okay, let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. It's almost the shape of my screen right here. Um, and so there are four sides, so we know that any four-sided figure is called a quadrilateral. I know some of you have ridden four-wheelers before and we call those quads. It's called a quad because it has four wheels. Quad means four. Quadrilateral. What do you also call this shape? It is a rectangle. This one is considered a rectangle. Okay, let's do this next one. Okay, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides, we've done this one already. It is trying to trick you to see if you can recognize it, but this one is also a pentagon. Pent means five, so pentagon, pentagon. Okay, try this next one. Okay, here we go, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, so another one with six sides. What do we call a six-sided figure? A hexagon. Hex means six. Hex means six. Let's try this next one. Okay, let's count the sides. One, two, 
three. So three sides, and we know a three-sided figure is called a triangle, triangle. Okay, let's try this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another six-sided figure. What do we call a six-sided figure? A hexagon, very good, a hexagon. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. You guys did an awesome job today. For your seesaw assignment, I'm gonna let you get into some art. It's not so much art, but you're doing a little bit of drawing. Um, so for your math, it's called Math 429 Polygons. And you are going to go and you are going to draw as many polygons as you possibly can on the rubber band board in front of you. And you're going to be moving the bands around and trying to create the figures. You can create any size, any shape, but try and put as many as you possibly can on the board. Um, so it's kind of like a challenge, but you are drawing polygons today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. If not, I will see you guys later. Have a good afternoon.